The sun, our star, has been shown to have an electromagnetic effect on our planet Earth from activity produced from solar flares, coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, and even coronal holes. Solar flares especially have an effect on Earth as they arrive with such speeds at Earth's magnetosphere that they often appear as auroras close to the poles at each end of the planet. The solar particles that enter Earth's magnetosphere from the solar winds produced from the sun's solar flares mix and react with particles already existing in Earth's atmosphere to form hydrogen and oxygen molecules, essentially providing life to the planet. However, when a large solar flare is detected on an Enlil spiral, it is usually classified as an X-class solar flare and is tracked in order to document the effects it has on the planet and the ever-changing magnetic field. This research has gone on to prove the Sun-Earthquake connection that can be found in the sources below. But since a connection has been noticed between X-class flares and large earthquakes at the time of their arrival upon Earth, can a connection between phenomena on the Sun be also linked to volcanic eruptions? The electromagnetic connection between our planet and space around it is generally well understood, so much so that we know that a large solar flare, such as a solar kill shot, could disrupt and potentially destroy all electrical power here on Earth. So the theory is, can coronal holes, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections have an impact on volcanic eruptions upon the timing of their arrival at Earth's magnetosphere? On Jupiter's moon Io, a volcanic eruption was witnessed by the New Horizons spacecraft Lori Camera, which may help indicate the solar effects on volcanic eruptions, as Io is considered one of four known volcanically active worlds in our solar system. Nonetheless, active volcanoes are continuously tracked and monitored in order to develop proper prediction models of volcanic eruptions. However, the electromagnetic connection between the Sun, Earth's magnetosphere, and volcanoes should be taken into consideration as another key factor for developing proper volcanic eruption prediction models. Measuring solar flares alongside the KP index and cross-referencing this information with earthquake prediction models and their location to known active volcanoes may help to predict volcano eruptions for the sake of nearby cities.